yours truly, Evangelist Carmen Sproul, pastor, co-pastor here at Truth for Life Ministries. But we thank God for our senior pastor, uh, Elder Eric Sproul. Again, as I said, we're tonight, we're going to be getting some information on talking about the ministry itself. Amen. We want to uh, kind of give an understanding of who we are, where we're coming from, where we're trying to go, uh, what, how, what makes us tick. Hallelujah. Again, as I stated before, when you join, there's a whole packet of information that we give out. And I'm just getting, I'm coming from that same information. Also, we have a website that has the same information on it. Uh, summarized, not as in depth, not as in depth as the, the membership package. But again, it's www.truthforlife, for and that's a four, for life ministries.com. And so you can go out there, you can find out about pastor, you can find out about co pastor, you can find out about you uh, Bishop, where we came from. Amen. Then again, connected to that is our fellowship, Kingdom Praise Fellowship. And that's also a website. And that's headed by uh, Chief Apostle uh, Leger Britt. Amen. And again, that is who we are connected to. So we are not bastards contrary to popular belief. Uh huh. Brit. Apostle Le J. Brit. L A B J A Y E. I believe that's how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Apostle Brit. That's what I. <laughs> Amen. He's probably watching. According to him, he watches all our services. Amen. So, again, if there's something you miss, I'm sure you can go out. Now, this website here, this has, um, you can get this website through our page when it says pastor's bio and, and uh, co-pastor's bio. Because on that website is our bi biographies autobiographies because we wrote it. And actually, mine's a little more personal because I didn't know it was going on the website, but so it is, and it is my life. So you can find, it's just my testimony about how God touched me, and, uh, and it was an excerpt from a uh, paper I had to write in my Evangelism 101 class at Liberty University. So it was just an excerpt, but true, because they asked you, you know, how did you come to Christ and your experience and different things like that. But anyway, it gives our credentials, and I was going to pull it up on my phone. I may do it in a minute, but again, that's where you can find the information. Uh, true for Life Ministries, again, our goal is to minister to the total man. Amen? All of you. Inside and out. Because that's what God would, that's what God would want. Once you get the inside, then it's going to resonate on the outside. Your inside starts changing. Then your environment starts to change. Because you ain't the same no more, so you can't hang in the same environment. You can't be in the same environment. It don't necessarily mean the environment is sinful. It just means that that environment is not going to be conducive to where God is trying to take you once he changes you. Amen? Amen. And that's what, that's what happens to Pastor and I. And as I get to talk about some of the things that's happened in the ministry, Miss Cassandra right there can attest to some of this. <laughs> Uh, Miss Bragg can attest to some of how our environment changed. Lickety split, just like that. It's just a matter of 24 hours, a week, uh, a month, when you decide you're going to follow God in the direction he's going. It ain't, it ain't about following God uh, for the first time. It's about continually following God on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a, a season basis. You know, because when the season changes, again, your environment changes. Amen? 
All right, so well, I'm gonna, let's, let's start with a little history. What does truth for life stand for? Truth stands for the word of God, which we stand on and desire to convey to others unadulterated so we may walk in the understanding of God and his will without compromising its intent. Four stands for the four books of the gospel, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, St. John, which enlightens us of the conception, birth, life, earthly ministry, death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and the high priestly ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All of that, I don't know, that might be on the website, but that's the part of the history that we give out during our anniversary, pastoral ministry anniversary. Uh, we had our second one last year. Uh, life stands for the freedom and opportunity to live abundantly only if we accept the gift of salvation in which Jesus provides. So we are all about living abundantly. We are all about reaching potential. You got it in you, let's reach it. And I'm going to tell you right now, Truth for Life Ministry is all about pushing you toward your destiny, pushing you toward whatever God has you, pushing you with the potential that is in you. And that just does not mean to the next job or to the next uh, financial blessing. That means in holiness, in righteousness. Amen? Amen. Ministry incorporates the office of responsibility that has been entrusted upon us to be vessels. Listen to me when I say responsibility. When you're in ministry, you're in, you in positions, you have a responsibility. Amen? That has been entrusted. God has entrusted you with a position, entrusted you with an anointing. He has entrusted you with a gift, a talent, something. We talked about that on Sunday, didn't we? And as we're talking about gifts, uh, the ashes, talking about gifts. God has entrusted you with a gift. Amen. And we have the, we are given responsibility. Okay, I promise to be vessels for Christ to witness, share the love, and res restoration and fellowship with God. Listen, restoration. There's some people that we come across in this ministry, they know God. They just need to be restored. They, so that's why and when we talk about it's very important about how we understand where they came from through the spirit. Because everybody come here is not in the same place. Amen? Or everyone that we come across, whether it be here, coming here, or whether they, uh, or we meet them on the street or at work, they're not always in the same place. Amen? Some people are been in some some people been in the church uh, one day. Some of them been in there 10, 20 years. But you may not necessarily know that when you come upon them and God got to give you, you got to get a word from God to help them through whatever they're going through. It could be restoration. Amen. Providing God's children with the ability to live and finish the course set before us. And that's why I always say, remember. In the word, you will find truth for life. You won't find us in the word. I don't care what we look like. I don't care we might be in here doing a little slide. We might be doing whatever. We in the word. Amen? Because we free. And that's why, one reason about the ministry is why we talk about uh, relationships so much. Because once I'm in a relationship with God, I can't be free. I don't have to, oh, I'm so afraid of what so-and-so might think. Oh, my, a lot of people, many of us are based, we come out of religion. I got to do look a certain way. I got to go through certain types of formalities to look like I'm saved, to act like I'm saved. No, if you got a relationship with Christ, the closer you get, it's just going to be natural that you act like you know Christ. You ain't got to think about it. You ain't got to read no scripture to figure it out. You don't spend too much time with God. It's going to be in eight. So if you might, so I can, I can go places. Now let me tell you something. Trust. When I first, when I first got saved, I'm going to go everywhere. I wasn't strong enough. 
Again, you got to understand where everybody is. Amen? Just, um, and if I'm talking about, if that, I think it was Paul talking about, if they don't eat meat, I can't eat meat. I eat meat, but I might not eat it around you because it might hinder you. Might be a stumbling block. But trust, when I get home, I'm going to eat some meat. Amen? Because I'm free. Amen. So that's how how we how we 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 push a relationship, not with the pastor, not with the co-pastor, not with who's on who's the head of the praise team, 